Fern Ferrer. Welcome, Sean. Thank you. Nice to be back. Nice to have you back. So, uh, so, uh, so many incredible stories about your mother, and and what an am amazing way to grow up. I'm very excited about this show today because. Uh, I think uh, m even more so than the October show, um, we're starting to get a real feel of the wonderful combination of uh, 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 very classical pieces mm -hmm. and um, more sort of 60s and, and sort of early 70s kind of a feel, kind of a, a hippie-ish kind of a look. And she really, you know, here's a woman that was left or left us with this amazing legacy of being an an icon of style mm -hmm. uh, and yet the decisions she made then when she was at the top of her career and could have bought all these amazing real diamonds and things is it is wonderful because she she really um, chose to instead have this treasure trove of a collection of custom jewelry which is really what we've recreated here right. and so the say, this is the same woman who, who uh, 30 years later, would become an ambassador for UNICEF and, and give back. And so it's nice to see that there's something, you know, that sort of t ties it all in. Definitely. Well, and, and we saw briefly, we saw a picture of Audrey wearing these bracelets. And I know that there's a really special story behind these bracelets as well. And that's what's so special about having you so involved in the entire process of designing this jewelry because you saw your mother wearing these pieces. We did, we did, absolutely. And um, and as a result, I mean, you're only really uh, as good as what you put out there. And that's the sort mm. of golden rule of Hollywood. Um, sure. You're only as good as your last film. And in effect, the only way we could really approach this with our partner uh, from Camrose and Cross was to be impossible from an approval standpoint. Mm. And so the quality <laughs> In effect, I, every time I come here, I forget the prices, and I say to myself, in my view, and the, the, the quality of these pieces, uh, which are absolutely meant to be, in, you know, uh, passed on from one generation to the other, absolutely, um, is extraordinary comparing to to. You, know, you buy real jewelry, as you well know, and you walk sure. out the door, it's like a car. The next minute, it's worth 50%. Yes. You buy this, and it's going to, not only is it beautifully crafted, and it's going to be something that you can, you know, give on to your next generation, you to your really children, can, and so because forth. It's so beautiful. I'm, and I'm glad, too, that you said that about cameras and cross, because we know the quality, and we recognize the quality. You might also recognize this gorgeous pink box. Oh, we're showing a nice close up of those, because you just, you can't get. But look at how beautifully that comes packaged. Yes. Because there are, look, I mean, it's, again, this is the only place that you can get that licensed by her, really by her son. I mean, I mean, we, when we say, when we say the, the Audrey Hepburn collection right. and that, you know, that her, um, th that it's her, her collection, it's licensed. You actually had a hand in the design and the development, and she would be she would be proud. I of think the she would be proud well. of the fact that today we're celebrating some really wonderful uh, uh, down-to-earth choices that she mm. made, you know, and which are yes. in, in 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 keeping. You know, the history behind these is that they were created at the time originally for Jackie O, for Mrs. Kennedy, mm. and. Um, of course, she might have bought, you know, the original ones. Yes. And but really, our mission was to not get cute about, you know, to redo them exactly, but to put the effort into the quality, not just of the enamel, but also of the, you know, the, 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 the metals and every aspect of the product. Well, um, and, and they're only fifty nine ninety five. I mean, fifty nine ninety five. We could walk into a department store and I, find it. I get it worried cheap sometimes. I get worried sometimes that these prices somehow would indicate that it's something that's like cheaply made, and I cannot tell you. No, you know, it's absolutely how stunning. How far from the truth that is. Yes, and and now this is true of the, of the entire hour. I will tell you that. Mm -hmm. Don't let the prices determine how valuable and how beautiful they are. You can see in person that they're beautiful, but when you get this home, you are going to be, it's absolutely going to exceed your expectations. They I don't know if you knew, she's, um, she's um, one of the two actresses that sang Mr. President his, for, for his happy birthday. <gasps> did she? She did, and I was like, actually looking uh, through YouTube and couldn't find it today. She was wearing a long uh, white um, 
dress. Mm -hmm. And I think she sang it maybe a, bit, a little bit more soberly than, <laughs> than the other soberly. singer. <laughs> yes. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but they were close because they had become uh. friends when she first came uh, to New York to do Gigi and he was still a senator. Oh, wow. Yeah. And actually, I have memories as a kid. Um, you know, we basically spend our childhood in this beautiful country home in Switzerland. Mm. So, we, I, I, as I like to say always, we didn't live in Hollywood, the place or the state of mind. We had no screening rooms, uh, mm. etc. But um, I do remember uh, when the, uh, I was very small and the president came to visit, and it was like being in the Men in Black, you know, in what? the real Men in Black. Sure. So, because they show up in these big cars. I'm a little kid living in Switzerland and yeah. amongst cows and vineyards. <laughs> and these big, long American cars with, you know, these guys wearing the...